Thanks, Webb. Please stick around. The headliner is very funny. He's done the show before. And this next guy that's coming up, it's his first time, so give him some love, okay? And uh, we have paramedics standing by. No, it's all good. I'm just kidding. You guys are going to enjoy this guy. He seems like a really nice guy. You guys, first time at the show, give it up for Chris Vasquez. Make some noise for him. Hear me okay? That's <laughs> good. All right. Uh, this is my very first night ever doing this, and uh, I was trying to thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I was trying to think of a, a of a way to compare the feelings to this, and it's almost as as nerve wracking as waiting for the negative result on a pregnancy test, but it's not as life changing, you know. It, it's kind of like waiting for like. Uh, the, if you're the loser on that old game you used to play, Butts Up, where everyone just throws the balls at you if you ever lose, you're just waiting for the Rammy. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thanks for coming out and, and, uh, and supporting me. Um, so yesterday was super windy. I, I've never been to, I've never been to Chicago, but I would imagine that's what it was like. It was that windy. There was shit flying all over the place. It was like girls' skirts flying up and everything. It was awesome. But at the same time, I was leaving for work, and I noticed that my, my neighbor had his gardeners working on the lawn, and I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, oh, there's just a bunch of beaners working on the lawn. It's okay. And there was a guy, you know, mowing the lawn. There was a guy trimming the bushes. And then there was this guy uh, using the leaf blower. And I thought, oh, wait a second. That guy's, fucking, that guy's fucking dumb. Why is he using a leaf blower? Because... Everything that you blow away is blowing right back onto the lawn. It's very, it's just, it's just stupid. It's like putting water on your toothbrush right before you use it. Or it's like giving a hooker a compliment. It's just unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and, but then I thought, you know what? That guy's probably the smartest Mexican in that group. He was probably just like, Hector, you mow the lawn. Juan, you trim those bushes. I'm just gonna stand around here and blow some leaves all over. Blow <laughs> <laughs> some leaves. Whatever I do doesn't fucking matter. There's shit all over the place. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, and uh, I think I, I thought that was fucking awesome. So hats off to that guy. And then uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of uh, warm weather. I'm, I'm a skinny Mexican guy. I don't like cold weather because um, you know I, I'm not. I'm not married to a fat, ugly woman that's popping out seven kids a year. <laughs> not yet. Not yet, not yet. Soon, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just a skinny guy that loves the warm weather, but I can't hate the cold weather, mainly because I use it as a scapegoat for my small penis. If I'm ever on a date and I get to the point where, I, where a girl's looking at me naked, I'm just like, hey, I swear. It's just because it's cold outside, that's why my penis is small. If you just touch it a few times, I s it'll grow. <laughs> Joke's on them, it really doesn't grow at all. It's just <laughs> three inches max. <laughs> but I love being single during the, during the Christmas time. Um, it, it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good time. There's, it's, it's really easy to date during the holiday time because um, it, it, the, the mood is already set for you. There's the, the the weather's always pretty cold. It's easy to cuddle up. Uh, the whole ambiance and the atmosphere makes it very romantic. And I always tell my my other single friends that the the simplest dates are the easiest dates because all you have to do is tell the girl like, hey, like let's just go big, pick up a couple like hot chocolates and let's go look at Christmas lights and drive around for a little bit. It'll be easy. And girls are like, oh my god, he's so romantic. He's so in touch with. With feminine side, and I'm like, yeah, for sure, whatever. <laughs> but, um, so, but you have to remember that when you're like, you're driving around and, and you're listening to like Christmas music and everything, and you're looking at the lights and you're having a good time. If it goes really well, you, you have to really change the Christmas music on the radio because uh, um, there's there's nothing more awkward than when you're driving around, or I'm sorry, when you're at when you've had a really good time and, and you. At the end of the date, you start making out, and maybe you start banging, banging her, and she starts jacking you off, and then Alvin and the Chipmunks come back. <laughs> it's just really, really bad. Uh, but uh, you know, I, like I said, I always love the holidays. I love holiday parties. Um, you know, just parties in general. 
I always love um, going to parties and hanging out with my friends, and there's always that, that one guy that comes in and introduces yourself, introduces himself to everybody, and uh, you know, he'll be like, at the very end, he's always just like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember anybody's name, it's just, just a heads up. And I'm like, well, of course not, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, there's nobody that's going to go to a party and remember everybody's names. Why are you telling me that? It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, personally, the only names that I remember are the people that are buying me drinks or the people I want to have sex with. I'm not going to remember the rest of the night after this. We're going to take three shots of Fireball and do a shotgun of Bud Light. Like, what, why would I remember your name? So, that, that's all I got. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you very much. Give it up for him. Make some noise for him. First time. That was awesome. Yeah, Chris! Right. He survived. All right, cool. You guys, we have one last performance. This guy's very funny. He's done my 